So we decided to do the Hartford mirror done, half mirror done for our Connecticut 50 states race. We got to town early enough on a Friday to be one of the few people to make it to the race aspo. Now this aspo is one of the smallest aspo I have ever been to. You get into a long line to get into the aspo and once you get in, you give them your bill and all the information to pick up everything for your race. And then there was only the, the Hartford Marathon Foundation selling their race paraphernalia and one other booth and then other races giving information about their race. And that was the ASPO. So while we was driving around town, getting our food and going to different exhibits and museums, was able to see majority of our race course. The race started at 8 a.m. and we got to the race site at 6.30. Now it's different times that you actually could park in certain parking lots. So therefore we was trying to park around the 6.30 parking lot, but there is parking for after 6.30, a little far out from the actually start area. The race itself started in front of the Capitol and ended at Bushnell Park. But as you enter the area where all the runs is located, it is different vendors that is available for you to enjoy. And we enjoy the Dunkin' Donuts area where they actually was giving out free $5 gift card, which we enjoy coffee right after the race. Now, there is plenty of porta potties throughout the running area, but we was able to get the port party right at the 5k start area so do know that the 5k and the half and mirror donners do have different corrals so make sure you are standing in the correct corral for your actually race the race itself do have pacers as well so you can stand behind those pacers to help you pace throughout the area now for me, I did register for the race later, so I was in the open corral, but for runners that register early, they sometimes would be in the more earlier corral. Unfortunately, all the runners do start at the same time, so it don't really matter which corral you is, it is how fast you are starting the course. And because of this, that means that to start out the race, it is very congested. So it would be congested for the first two miles. And then after that, you still will have a lot of people running with you on the course, but it would be more easier for you to run your pace. Because of this, you don't want to go out running too fast. You definitely want to ease up and start running your race pace, at least at the two mile mark. So get ready to have a congested start. I do know that the race course directors and people that is over the race is planning on to have a different initiative for the next race. So I'm not sure if they're gonna have a stagger start or what exactly they're gonna have differently, but to be on the lookout for that new information because your race might be a little different than ours. This course do provide you with hydration along the course, at least about every two miles. So you have none drinks and water provided to you. Gel would be provided for the runners at about the 7.5 to 7.8 mile marker area. So be on the lookout for that one. If you are a person that loves to have spectators cheering for you on the course, this course has plenty as I had spectators cheering for me even throughout the course. And me running my Scuddy Twins shirt, I actually have a lot of people screen out, about two different people screen out, go Scuddy Twins. So definitely wear your name if you want to be motivated on that course. At about the mile eight mark is when the half marathons and marathons will split out. And I would say after the marathons have left the half marathons, the crowd support had died down. So it was last people on the course to cheer you on until you got to close to that finish line, probably about mile 10 or so. With that, that means that the cheer area is very congested with a lot of people. So be on the lookout for that as well as people is cheering you on to the finish. So the race itself will be rolling hills. So be prepared to run some hills on the race itself. 
I would say the scenery was actually very beautiful as you get to run through different parts and the parts itself had great scenery for you to enjoy. And as you come to the finish line at Bushnell Park, you will be crossing underneath an arc to get to that finish line. Now, once you run to that finish line, do remember you have one more baby hill to run before you get into that finish line. Now the food that you would get at the finish line would be soup, banana, milk, and some snacks like popcorn and granola. Also, the Hartford Marathon Foundation also give you their own personalized water bottle that you will be able to have for your race souvenir. And then once again, Dunkin Donut was there after the race, so we was able to get some coffee. Before the race, we got a donut, I believe it was pumpkin spice donut that was able to get before the race. And then you could walk around, there's different boots out there that you could walk around and look at. But we was ready to get our, to go ahead, go home. We got our Mylon sheet. Now there was tables set up to get a massage there for a small fee and then there was also stretch stations that you could do it was at the bushnell park which is a pretty nice park that you could sit down and relax yourself of course like most races you could get a beer if you like as well so just a good way to just chill and relax with your family and friends and to be able to enjoy in your race performance so Overall, I would say that the Hartford Marathon Half Marathon was a very good race if you're looking for a Connecticut race to do. It has nice, the city has nice people. Of course, like any city, you have to be careful. And remember, because the Hartford Marathon production is mostly downtown, that you do have to pay for parking for majority of the things that you do. So therefore at our race expo, we have to pay for parking. When you come to the race, you have to pay for parking. We was able to get free parking on the street through on the weekends, there's free street parking. So we got in town early enough to be able to get free parking on Saturday. But because majority of the things that you are doing downtown in Hartford, you will be paying for parking. So the pros for this race is that you're able to run in beautiful, nice scenery. The people was very nice and you have great spectators. The weather was perfect, was able to start in 40 degrees weather, end it in 50 degrees, so beautiful day. And therefore for us, we like a pretty moderate sized race. It was 5,000 people that sign up and did the 5k half and full mirror done so you do have a pretty good amount of people on the corral with you also it was adequate enough hydration station to stay fueled on the course the parking was also very close to the start and finish of the race and that's always a plus and now the cons for running this race is that for some people who do not like rolling hills there were some people that had complained that the race was hard to do i even had a runner that was running beside me that was said she cannot believe she run this much hills constantly it was a constant rolling hills throughout the whole race i enjoyed the race elevation it was very similar to running virginia i actually think virginia was actually harder to run so i was well prepared for that race so i would say if you do run this race make sure that you are doing your hill training and if you need some tips on hill training definitely check our video because we got you on that. So overall, I would definitely check mark Hartford Mirrodon Half Mirrodon for your Half Mirrodon or your Full Mirrodon running for Connecticut. Now, if you need more tips on how to train for your Half Mirrodon or Full Mirrodon, definitely check our channel because we got you. Until next time, bye-bye.